I'm David Kellogg. We're going to take, uh, I'm superintendent of public utilities and we're going to take a little trip around town to see some of the projects that we have going on. We're on East Broadway, um, across from Triple Creek Park. This contractor is working on a gravity sewer interceptor for, uh, for Facebook. One of uh, several products we've got going for them. They're laying an 18 inch gravity sanitary sewer from uh, Bentley Circle all the way up to Airport Road. Well, they're breaking the rock to get the, uh, the depth for the sewer because the sewer runs by gravity. So to get the pipe deep enough for it to flow properly, they have to break the rock to get down to the, the grade for the pipe. They're gonna be about less than a half a percent of grade over the course of the pipe. This is a developer that's doing a subdivision here and he's allowing the contractor that we've got using that we're using to use it as a laydown yard for pipe and equipment. It's 18 inch uh, sanitary sewer uh, pipe. It's made out of PVC. Uh, they're joints with gaskets and they'll lay it uh, bedded in a gravel ditch gravel around it to protect it and then they'll backfill it with the dirt. It's designed to last uh, a long time. This is typically what we'll put in now. Um, you know, older sections of town will have a, a vertrified clay pipe which is very robust but it's also prone to cracking and if it's not bedded and installed properly then, then you'll have leaks and we're spending millions of dollars to replace pipe to keep the leaks, and keep the water out of the system. Less water that gets in the gravity, less water that goes to the treatment plant, the less water we have to treat, um, then we're treating what the plant is actually designed to treat, which is sewage. So we're at the uh, site of the new Publix Shopping Center in the Windsong development off of uh, 109. Um, what we're doing right now, what we'll see today is they're installing the gas main and services for this facility. Um, steel gas main. We're running a four inch main into the, the facility and a two inch service over to feed Publix. So they have a horizontal directional drill which is pushing the drill head and the rod under the road and it's got a locator beacon built into the head and as it's going across the road he can take a locating device and determine the location of the head, the depth the head is in the under the ground and the direction that the head is turning so that he can steer, basically he can steer it. We'll be in here a couple of weeks and we'll be done. Next stop will be our industrial park uh, wastewater lift station. That'll be the pump station that'll pump the wastewater from uh, the, the Facebook site. It's designed to catch the whole entire property by gravity sewer and then we'll pump it into our, uh, into our sewer system. So we'll supply the water that they'll need for the cooling on the, on the system and then when that water reaches a certain age or a certain quality uh, to run in through their, their system, then they'll discharge it and it'll go into the sewer system. So we're at the uh, industrial park water storage tank facility. We're at the end of uh, Commerce Way, uh, between the end of Commerce Way and uh, East Broadway. This is drinking water. Um, we have a, a million gallon tank up here and a new two million gallon water storage tank up here. Um, we have storage tanks over on Hartsville Pike in the Tulip Circle area. Water from those tanks is fed by pump. It's pumped out of those tanks through a series of lines, fills these tanks, and then out of these tanks it runs uh, to the eastern portion of our system. It serves the the two utility districts, uh, the town of Westmoreland and the Castellan Springs Bethpage Utility District. One of the neat things about this, uh, this site is when they built the first tank, they had the forethought to go ahead and prep the hillside for a second storage tank, which saved a lot of money when they went to construct this new tank. It's a, it's a level gauge. It tells you how full the tank is, uh, how many feet of water are currently in the tank. So like right now, we're at about 26 feet. So there's 26 feet of water in the tank and the depth of the water in the tank uh, equates to pressure and to a, to a volume, how, how many gallons is in the tank. On about average of about once a day, depending on the, the season. Uh, obviously in the summertime, there's more water usage than there is in the wintertime. 
um, but at least once a day the water in the tank will will turn. So we're on Maple Street at the site of our uh, wastewater flow equalization facility. The last time you were here you saw them uh, pull down one of the storage silos. So it's, uh, it's changed a little bit since then. Uh, so now the concrete pads are all crushed up. They ground them, pulled the steel out, recycled it, and they've excavated the site for the uh, the pump station for the tank, and they've excavated the site for the actual 10 million gallon wastewater storage tank. So this is designed, you know, as we were talking earlier with the wastewater and the rainwater getting into the pipes. When we get heavy rainfall, the water gets in the pipes, it overwhelms the sewer system, and then in um, it comes out of the uh, out of the sewer system into the in the creek. In, in our case, it comes out at our number one pump station, which is at the the bottom of Town Creek. So this facility is designed when the flows in the wastewater system get to a certain point, it will divert part of that flow into a pump station and it will pump it into that tank. The tank will store it until the flows come back down to normal, and then it'll slowly release it back into the system, thereby preventing us from overflowing and discharging into the water.